so much for pressing play. You know, every time you press play, it gives me inspiration to do another video. So what I wanted to do this video about really quickly, um, I know a lot of us um, either had a really good year this year or a challenging year this year with everything that went on in 2020. But with that said, there's no excuse for us to go into 2021 without a plan, without taking the time to really look at all the all of the, the the learnings that we got from this year. So what I started this weekend, I found this tool on Twitter that allows you to really review your year and really look at different aspects of your life um, and looking at it and seeing how you're going to position yourself for 2021. Now, I'm not able to share that tool with you right now, being that I'm walking right now. And when I get back to my desk and when I get back to my laptop, what I'll do is I'll pull up this tool. Uh, it's an annual review sheet. And if you're interested in it, I can actually share it with you as well. And it's really been very profound for me. And I thought I would share it with you as well. So I, I'll share actually the link to this as well. So with that said, um, I'll be hanging out in the comments for a little bit. So if you have any thoughts on how you get yourself ready for the next year, don't wait until... Don't wait until January 1st before you start thinking about 2021. No, start thinking about it now. Actually, you should have started thinking about it in September, October. But anyway, better, let's just do it now. But anyway, I'm going to share that tool with you. But in the comments, I'll be hanging out there for a little bit. Let me know how you get yourself prepared uh, for the next year. Let's make this, let's make this a good year. So with that, without that said, have a good one.